Previously on 8051 microcontroller video series, we have gone through addressing modes of 8051 microcontroller and the steps to install Keel Microvision file. Today, in this video, we are going to learn about add arithmetic instruction. This video series is presented by RLC Tripali. Without wasting our time, let's move on to the topic. The instruction used for addition of unsigned numbers is add instruction. Add instruction will have always accumulator as its destination. We can see over here add a comma source. That means a accumulator will be acting as the destination register. Then the source can be of an immediate value or it can be an register. We can specify the register also in the place of source or it can be a memory location or it can also be an pointer. It can also be an pointer. In add instruction, the result the result of the addition will be always stored in the accumulator that is it takes the destination and it takes the source adds together and it will save the data in the accumulator itself whenever we perform an addition instruction the flag register will get changed that is the flag register is the psw register this psw register bits will get altered the bits which will get altered when we perform the addition operations are the carry flag the auxiliary carry flag overflow and the parity these are the four bits or the four flags which gets affected while performing add instruction when we execute add instruction these four flags will get affected we'll go with an example on this now we'll consider the add instruction with immediate addressing mode in immediate addressing mode we'll be passing the data directly so here the source will be of direct data now in this instruction lines i have used move a comma ash 82h that means 82h value is been stored in the accumulator then in the next instruction i am adding the accumulator value with the direct data that is 0 a to h now this is a 82h value that is 1 0 0 0 is 8 then 0 0 1 0 is 2 then the next direct address that is direct data it is a2 h 1010 is a then 0010 is 2 when we perform the addition operation on this 0 plus 0 will be 0 1 plus 1 will be 0 with the carry of 1 then 1 plus 0 is 1 then 1 plus 0 is 1 so it is 1 then 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. In this, if we observe the auxiliary carry flag part is 0, that means which are blank that we consider that as 0, auxiliary carry is 0, then the carry flag is 1, the carry flag is set to one then the overflow flag which is dependent on the carry seven and carry eight it is the xor operation of carry seven and carry eight to know the detail of like auxiliary carry overflow carry carry flag parity bit rs not rs1 all those things we have uploaded the video on psw register the link for that is also given in the description you can check about it for the detailed explanation of these flags now the overflow flag is a xor operation of carry 7 and carry 8 so 1 xor with 0 is 1 so we can write k 
carry is equal to 1 overflow is equal to 1 then auxiliary carry is equal to 0 then the parity bit will be equal to 0 because the number of ones present in the accumulator after executing this instruction is 2 you can see we have 1 2 2 ones in the accumulator these two so the parity bit in the psw register will be set to 0 be set to 0 next we'll move on with an example of register addressing mode with add instruction in this example we are considering the source to be of register where the register can be from r0 to r7 in this snippet we'll see how this addition is working move a comma ash 0 a h that is in this line of instruction i am passing the value 0 a h to accumulator then in the second line of instruction move r1 comma ash 8 9 h that means 8 9 value is been stored in the r1 finally we are adding the content of accumulator with the content of r1 this is the content of accumulator that is 0 a next this is the content of r1 which is of 8 9 when we perform the addition operation on this bit by bit 0 plus 1 will get 1 then 1 plus 0 1 0 plus 0 is 0 1 plus 1 it is 0 with 1 then 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 0 0 then 1 now now if we observe the left out part will make it as 0 the auxiliary carry part the auxiliary carry bit will be set to 1 then the carry flag is set to 0 then the overflow flag is also 0 because it is the XOR operation of the D7 bit and the D8, C7 bit and the C8 bit. So it is 0. And the parity flag, if we check, we have 4 ones here. So parity flag is also set to 0. Next, we'll move on with direct addressing mode example. In direct addressing mode, the source will be of direct address. In this snippet, we can see move a comma ash 3ch that is 3c data is stored in the accumulator. Then in the second line of instruction, we have used 30h as the memory location. In the 30h, I am storing ff. Then finally, we are adding the content of accumulator with the content of 30h with the content of 30h. Now, accumulator is stored with the value of 3C. Then, 30H memory location is stored with the value of F, F. When we perform the addition operation of this, 0 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 0 with 1. Then, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is going to be 1 and 1 same here it will be 1 1 then 1 1 1 plus 1 0 with 1 1 plus 0 plus 1 0 with 1 okay. now here if we observe the auxiliary carry part auxiliary carry is equal to 1 and carry is equal to 1 then overflow flag overflow flag is equal to 1 x or 1 which will be of 0 so the overflow flag is 0 because overflow is equal to xr operation of c7 xr c8 that is carry 7 and carry 8 1 xr 1 will be equal to 0 so over flag is equal to 0 then the parity flag if we check 
count the number of ones here. We have one, two, three, four, five. So five ones are stored in the accumulator. So the parity flag will be equal to one. Parity flag will be equal to one. Next, we'll take up one more example with indirect addressing mode. In register indirect addressing mode, the source is of the pointer. Here we can use at ri indicates i can be of 0 or 1. In this example, we have taken r naught that is i is equal to 0 or not has been taken. We'll go with this snippet working. Now in the first line of code, move a comma ash 55 h that means I'm storing the value of 55 to the accumulator. Then in the second line of instruction, we are passing 55 h to 40 h location that is in the memory location of 40 h RAM. I'm storing 55 h then this address has been passed to the R0. R0, is, R0 will have the value of 40H now. Now add A comma at R0. That means R0 is having 40H. Now at has been used which acts as a pointer. So whatever the data present in this memory location of 40H will be used for addition. If you want to know the detail about register indirect addressing mode, you can check our previous video on addressing modes. The link I have provided on the description. Now we'll see the addition operation. When we perform the addition operation, now accumulator is with the value of 55H. Then the value stored in the 40H is 55. In the memory location 40H, 55 is stored. When we perform the addition, 1 plus 1, 0, then 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1, 1. Then 1 plus 1, 0, 1. Then 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. If we observe the auxiliary carry flag is equal to 0 that is auxiliary carry is set to 0 then carry flag is also set to 0 overflow flag overflow flag is the XR operation of C7 and C8 this C7 and C8 so 0 XR1 is 1 then parity bit is equal to 0 because number of ones present in the accumulator after addition is 4. So parity flag is set to 0. In the next video, we'll take an example and we'll work on the Keel Microvision software. For more upcoming videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and for our social media platform. If you really like the video, share with your friends and well-wishers. We'll see in our next video.